Hello, fabulous lions and lionesses, as I love to call you. Leo, I hope you're doing awesome. Happy Friday. It's Friday night where I am. I hope you're going to have an awesome weekend, Leo, and get some leisure time to yourself. Um, Leo, so you want a soulmate reading. That's what we're going to do. Uh, whether you're currently in contact with your soulmate or not. First part of this video, we're going to ask what's coming towards you, Leo. What you'll be dealing with, facing, how to best handle it for your highest good. How are you doing on this soulmate journey that you own currently? Then second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. And we're going to ask what's going on with your soulmate. How they are relating to you at this time emotionally. And what's on their mind? What are they thinking, feeling, especially in relation to you, Leo? Let's do this. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Leo. For Leo's highest good, please. Universe, what's coming towards Leo? What will Leo be dealing with facing and how to best handle it for the highest good? How is Leo currently doing on this soulmate journey? How is Leo doing? Mm, this just flipped over. Um, so... Problems with communication showing up here. You feel this person is very important to you. Um, hmm. Let's put this back in, see if it shows up again. Universe, how is Leo doing? How is Leo doing? What's coming up for Leo, especially on this soulmate journey? One extra message wants to come out. Background message. Leo, wow, some kind of changes in your life. You feel not in a relationship with this person at this time. But look at this. This is beautiful. This is you taking care of yourself. This is you doing well at your job or business. Attractive. So people view you as successful, attractive, independent. Um, you are not in a relationship right now. So if somebody asked you if the two of you are in a relationship right now, you would say no. Some kind of major change transformation. I'm curious to see what will clarify the death card. Beautiful. This is you being passionate. So some of you will have either raises, promotions, job offers. This is good. This is making wise financial decisions for yourself, business, work. A lot of drama at your job, though. Uh, a lot of... Uh, I would call them energy vampires, people who are wasting time, resources, jealousy also. You can see jealousy in here towards you. So people uh, view you as attractive, successful, independent, strong, resilient. There's jealousy from them towards you. So take that as a compliment. If they're jealous, obviously they want to be like you, look like you, work like you. Let me see what's going on here. Yeah, this is you loving your soulmate. Um... Quietly, you love this person. You love this person. A lot of you are dealing with Virgo, Scorpio, uh, Cancerian showing up here strongly. Uh, all signs are represented by the Seven of Wands here because we have the water signs, earth signs, air signs, and fire signs. But very strong Scorpio, um, Aries, Virgo, Cancerian. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Leo. What will Leo be dealing with facing? Oh, beautiful. This is you standing your ground. This is you knowing that you deserve good in your life, having high standards. Um, but you're also thinking about your soulmate, viewing them as um, worthy of a relationship. You feel they are very different from any other person that you've ever uh, been with or were interested in. This is you. Um, spiritual balance. This is you balancing things in your life, working on yourself. Beautiful energy to describe you. I'm loving this. Yeah, you know that you want a long-term commitment. So this is you yearning for long-term commitment, wanting long-term commitment. But you are single. Look at this. This is single energy. It's okay. It's okay. Single is good. Uh, it's better to be single than be with just anybody. Like so many people are so desperate to be with somebody, they'll put up with anyone. 
This is you knowing your worth as a person. This is you being picky, taking your time, yeah, in making wise decisions. Wow, communication showing up here. So there will be communication between you and your soulmate, back and forth communication. Yeah, this is, this is good. This is you waiting. This is you making wise financial decisions. And for this, all oh, these pentacles, nine of pentacles, nine of pentacles, ten of pentacles, seven of pentacles, to be uh, near and on top of the ace of wands shows that a lot of you will be promoted or um, um, get raises or have another job that will be higher paying for you or make wise financial decisions that will bring profit. This is beautiful. This is you concentrating on your self-well-being. Yeah. This person of yours, though, a lot of you are dealing with the Virgo, Taurus, Sagittarius. They could be any sign whatsoever. This person is not communicating right now. Uh, they may have said harsh words to you in the past uh, because of the way this is painted. Um, this person is not communicating right now. They very guarded with their heart. What's going on here? Let's clarify this Queen of Cups. This is you loving this person. This is you feeling love for this person. Um, hmm. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Leo. What will Leo be dealing with facing? A lot of you are dealing with the Virgo, but no matter what sign they are, it shows that you are not communicating right now not expressing yeah quiet silence no communication right now and for the few of you that are communicating sporadically here and there with this person you guys are not expressing uh things uh, like your feelings your intentions your plans for each other but most of you yeah this is you feeling sad leo this is you sad feeling sad emotional regret sadness heartbreak this is often called crying over spilled milk, thinking about what could have been. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Wheel of Fortune showing up here. So, three major Arcana Life Force cards here. So it looks like the two of you will get another chance to communicate. Doesn't mean you have to be with them if you don't want to, Leo. But the universe will give you another chance, another opportunity to communicate together. Uh, to understand each other better. Whether you reach out, they reach out, or you bump into each other. Yeah, this is you very guarded emotionally, not trusting them, very guarded with your heart, uh, not communicating right now. <clears throat> yeah, you're checking up on them though. You're curious how they're doing. You're curious how this person is doing. Let's see what's going on with them. Let's go direct into their energy because you have the right to know. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages. For Leo's highest good, please. Ouch, I'm losing my hair. My hair is everywhere. Okay. Universe, the soulmate of Leo. The soulmate of Leo. What is going on with the soulmate of Leo? And how is the soulmate of Leo currently relating to Leo? Especially emotionally. What's on their mind? How is the soulmate of Leo towards Leo? Very strong extra messages, two of them. Very strong background messages. You see, they're quiet right now. This person is quiet. They're quiet. No communication, silent treatments. This is them feeling like they need to withdraw like they need to step back, like they need to regroup themselves, collect their energy, recharge their batteries, so to speak. But they're not um, being silent on purpose to, to hurt you. No, they're not doing it on purpose. They're not playing mind games. They're trying to recover from disappointment, they feel. This person feels heartbroken, disappointed, sad. Um, yeah, three of swords right behind their head. So this person... Feels they need to rest, regroup themselves. Oh, you see? Do you see this? Five of Cups. 
You just had it also, but from the smaller clarifying tarot deck, you had the same energy. So you both are feeling it. You both feel sad, uh, regretful emotionally. Um, yeah, thinking about what could have been. Ooh, this person is sad. They feel like they lost you or are about to lose you. They're not sure if you care for them or not emotionally. So they have a lot of questions, no answers, not communicating right now. Yeah, you see, they showing up here as hanged men. So this person, you may not be aware of this, but this person feels that they've done all they could do, even though you may not agree with this statement. They think in their mind they've done all they could do and their hands are tied behind their back, like that's it. And now they're trying to feel, uh, they try to place themselves in your shoes, so to speak, to figure out if you care for them or not, if you love them or not, if you want to talk to them or not. So this person is stepping back, like they feel they need to regroup themselves, collect their energy. Yeah, they feel depressed. This is sadness, depression, regret. Yeah, they want to take action. They're just not sure when they're going to do it or how they're going to do it. A lot of you are dealing with Virgo, Gemini, Pisces, Cancerian, Aquarius. Let's see the extra messages. Wow, this is your beautiful energy. The sun representing Leo. So some of you are dealing with the Leo. This is the best card in the entire deck. Ooh, so yes, this person views themselves just like you view yourself, single in this connection. You guys are not in a relationship right now. So there's no relationship right now between you two at the moment. But this person is trying to heal. They, they try to regroup themselves, collect their energy, recharge their batteries. This person is good with business, finances, independent. They've been alone for some time. Uh, they okay by themselves. This person cares for you deeply, though. They view you as the one for them, but they're not sure where this is heading. Oh, this is interesting. Universe, please show us what's going on with the soulmate of Leo. The world. This person uh, is trying to learn from all relationships in their life. Not just romantic relationships, but family relationships, fam, uh, friend relationships. They're trying to learn important lessons. They don't want to be disappointed. They don't want to be heartbroken. Yeah, this person wants to heal emotionally. They feel broken. They feel heartbroken. Yeah, this person loves you from a distance quietly. So they, they love you, but they're not telling you they love you. Yeah. Yeah, you see, again, five of cups, again from two different tarot decks. So this person feels deep regret. They feel like this may be over, like there's no chance for the two of you to be together in a relationship. At least that's their fear. That's their perception. Yeah, this person loves you. They feel like there was something missing in this connection, like it wasn't reciprocal. Like one did too much, the other one didn't put enough work. One communicated, the other one didn't communicate. Uh, this also shows this person wants to give you something. Um, so they are kind of a person who like to uh, give, nurture others. Yeah, you see this person loves you a lot, but not telling you. Ten of Cups. Ooh, they upset. So, so something, something pissed them off. Something upset them. The devil with five of cups. This also shows that this person feels bound to you. Like they have very hard time releasing you, letting you go, getting over you, not thinking of you, not loving you. It's like they can't release you, can't let you go. Some of you are dealing with Leo, Taurus, also Capricorn. Wow, this they're going through a lot of emotional roller coasters uh, regarding this connection with you. Let's see, universe, please show us the soulmate of Leo. How is the soulmate of Leo? What's going on with the soulmate of Leo? They have a lot of passion for you. This person is concentrating heavily on the work, business, finances. A lot of them are successful with their own business. Uh, they know how to make profit. This person is resourceful, strategic, analytical. 
This person has a, a lot of jealousy around them. They don't trust many people. Yeah, they're very picky. Yeah, very much concentrating on profit, business, finances. Uh, this person is going to do well for themselves if they aren't already. Yeah, uh, this person is making changes in their life. Like they see where some people need to be let go in their life. Yeah, this person doesn't want drama. They're protecting their energy. Uh, they don't want drama in their life. Some of them are changing jobs or doing business in different ways. Uh, upcoming year, they're planning to do things differently when it comes to job, finances, business. Some of them are changing jobs or just change jobs. This is important to them. So this person is resourceful. They find that um, financial independence is very important to them. This person doesn't like to depend on other people for support. Wow, Leo, we're going to go into your extended reading and ask about your soulmate's current, true, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. Then we're going to ask what they're hiding from you at this time, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can't communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you from universe, from spirit on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time. And anything else you need to know about your life, whether it's your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Leo, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.